You thought you'd be third I out. <laughs> that was your prediction when you went in. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there were a couple of others. You, yeah. you said someone was going to walk and it would be f a female. So what did you see well, before basically, you went in? Well, basically, I was asked that, literally. I would say 10 minutes before I, I mm. was going into the car to go on, and that was exactly at the moment that, that the woman walked. You didn't know that, I didn't know that, then, but so someone that they were bringing Stormy up Daniels. to go in... This was Stormy, Stormy Daniels. Daniels, exactly. I didn't know whether I could say that. But basically, yeah, and mm. she walked literally while she was in the car. So um, it was just really looking at... I actually saw a lady throw a handbag and I thought, that, that's the woman that's going to walk. Mm. So I don't know if she did that, but I was told yeah. when I came out... I don't think people think of handbags when they think of Stormy Daniels. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, they don't. <laughs> you don't think of a handbag, but I'm sure she keeps things in that, you know. Mm. Why, did, yeah. why did you want to go in the Big Brother house? Um, Really, it was... They've been asking me for about six years, and because I'm on tour, just doing a loop, it was the first time that um, they were doing it in August, and we said, yeah, wh why not? It was just really... It's an experience. And were you nervous? Did you... What, what were you hoping that people would see? Well, you think I'm really silly, everybody, but I had never watched it before, and it was really... Someone was talking to me about it being sort of like um, a bit of a brain detox, and I thought, well, you know... Brain I'm... detox? Talks. Yeah, you yeah. did detox. I don't exactly. find that incredible. I think it's the opposite. Yeah. You're in there and they've got, you've got all this yeah. poison around yeah, you. you do, well, that's a really good word to use because you are put in, inside this house with people that you, on a normal, everyday level, you'd never perhaps even talk to, let alone Did you be a even friend. know who they were? No, I absolutely knew. The only person I knew of when he came in was Nick Leeson. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. because yeah. years ago, when I ran my practice from home, I actually used... I saw two of his very good friends, and it was at the time, you know... I thought you were going to tell me you were advising him on his financial <laughs> <life. laughs> well, He did say to me, if only I'd been... If only I knew you then, <laughs> Sally. But, Sally, I've been in the Big Brother house, and I have to say, like you, I didn't watch it, and I, I thought, I could handle it, it's fine, there's nothing they can really do, I'll be yeah. fine. And it is... I was actually in there with some vermin of society, mm. I have to say, and it was very difficult to kind of cope with it. But did you need psychological help when you came out? Because I did. <laughs> I did. Well, well, I I think, I think, seriously, before I went in, I might have needed some psychological help. And there would be people that say, my work, you know, she is a psychological mess. But basically, coming out, I, it does make you think Weird. about things differently. Yeah. Well, someone, who, someone who did need help and your help was Ryan Thomas, of yeah, course. Yes, um, I'm In what people are calling Punchgate, but we don't want to make light of that no. at all. But, you know, it was a very serious well, it was. allegation it was very that Roxanne serious. Pallet made. You were actually... You didn't realise no. that. But you were walking past when this alleged incident <gasps> happened. I mean, I was only shown that when I left. He was broken by this. Oh, completely. Devastated. But, and, and when he came out in his um, leaving interview, he said that it was you that got him through. Well, he, he was... You know, it, it's like I said, I felt like I've got three daughters, it's very well known, and I felt like I'd had a son. You know, mm. it, it was very much... It was so sad to see it, because he is young, he has his whole life, his whole career ahead of him, and, you know, she, she could have ruined what, that. What do you think of her now? Well, I... This is... Seriously, I want her to get help. I feel that she desperately needs the help, but it's like anything with someone with the issues that she obviously has, she's got to want the help. At the moment, looking at a couple of interviews that she, she did, I still have this sense of her not recognising mm. what she's actually done. So she definitely is at the beginning of a long road of getting better. And I seriously hope that she does get better and she's able to look at <laughs> what she's done. But is that the kind of issue that you'd make predictions about? Um, well, you see, uh, with, with, pre with predictions, that's not... You all know I'm a medium. And, yeah. I, you know, the generic term is psychic. I've no problem with that. But predictions really are a bit of fun when you look yeah. at it. When I'm with people, like I've seen you girls here today, and I'm picking up bits and pieces, and, and everyone, I just want to say, I know, Janet, it isn't your necessarily your bag, what I do. So it's very, very kind of you to allow me to give you a prediction. Because the, my work... You're predicting. <laughs> I'm predicting. I'm <laughs> Predicting for you. Well, that snuck in no, I don't, I don't. <laughs> when I was in makeup. <laughs> what about our <laughs> predictions? Oh, you're, well, you've got amazing things, amazing, amazing things. They're very nice. Yeah, they're yeah. they're oh. trying to do them now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, first of all, with Ruth, you have uh, there's a project that you have been offered, okay, that really is about you singular. 
with, without your hubby, you will say yes to it. It will be amazing, Ruth. <gasps> and oh! You've not been offered it yet. Well, no. You know. But you did. You met. There were two men that you had dinner with, possibly with, and the, is the <laughs> with MTV. Ruth, it's just does a, Eamon and know? most definitely, Eamon, Eamon yeah. possibly was there at the at yeah. the dinner. It wasn't lunch. It was a dinner, and you will say yes to that. Uh, I don't think Sierra, Ira, Syra, Syra, um, you, you will be working with a friend who's also in TV, a presenter. Work alongside her, it's a female. Not Anita Rani. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I need a photograph, I don't know. <laughs> um, and where, she, where you will visit different locations within the UK. It will be a thought provoking. Uh, program oh. and it will be a series. Well, you've got about ten seconds to film oh. it. Oh. A, 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 Janet, a book she wrote is going to be published. She, you haven't presented it to um, a publisher yet, but it's going to be published, and you will have a healthy advance and be able to. Hey, do hey me, me, like, me, me! Oh, uh, look, that's wrong. She, she Wait, wanted to break. A whole lot's wrong. Linda, she wanted to break from TV, but I feel the project is to do with writing. You're going to write a contemporary. I think it's already written, really. Me. A contemporary. <laughs> <scene. You can laughs> no. Yeah. And you uh, will be very Sally happy will about be that. On Sally will be on She'll be on tour, tomorrow? Kisses to Heaven, September until May next year. That's it from today. Oh, See you tomorrow. Yeah.